I'm excited by getting baptized because um, I want to take that bigger step into Christ and um, I want to uh, get a better relationship with Jesus and God. Hello, my name is Jacob Bonner. Um, I've been attending the summit for about three years now. Um, I was baptized as a young child, but I wanted to do it again as an adult with uh, my fiance now that I can fully understand um, what it means and the significance that it plays in my life. Um, one th huge thing that God has done for me in the past couple years is after the death of my father, right before I came to college, um, he brought me understanding and peace um, and ultimately allowed me to see his glory through a seemingly hopeless situation. My name is Kara Evans. I've been attending the summit for about three years now. I was introduced to the summit from leading Indiana Young Life through college. And I was baptized as an infant, but I really come into my faith as an adult. So I made the decision to get baptized with my fiance. Um, we are getting married this summer and we have a lot of big changes and unknowns coming up in the next few months. And I know that previously I would be really stressed and anxious about not being able to predict our future, but God has really given me a sense of peace and I'm just really trying to be faithful in this time. And we're excited to just take this step together before we get married and move on to the next step in our lives. My father passed away four months ago, um, very unexpectedly. And um, from what I remember, I just remember, you know, kind of collapsing to my knees and just like at first praying it wasn't true but then praying that my family would get through it so it was really hard to lose him and I just really needed something to I guess lean on and I knew that he was on my side that night and still is so that's definitely what brought me you know to church and to God it, um, himself in the sadness and the darkness, I still can find light knowing that both of them are on my side and, you know, both of them help me daily. I knew that I was relying, again, on God to pull me through this, but I've never really given myself. So, um, I want to let God know that I'm here and I'm ready and I'm so thankful for him pulling me through this. Hi, my name's Amy and um, I started coming to the summit because I absolutely love the kids ministry and I started coming around 2014, around the time Mel started pastoring. I was in a relationship, um, abusive relationship for seven years and it took me a long time to get out of that um, abuse. I was mad at God for a while. And then I started coming to the summit. And when I started coming to the summit, I started to realize that God wasn't the one that caused all of these problems. It was the other side. I started talking to Pastor Dick and Cheryl about the problems that I've had and I started to transform my whole life into the way that it is now. Compared to the relationship that I had and the relationship that I have with my husband now is, I have no words to describe the love that I have and the love that God has given me. God got me out of the abuse. Now I'm free. My name is Laura Silva. I'm from Colombia. So I love the fact that I come here and everybody's super welcoming and friendly and they just make me feel like I'm, like I'm home. I remember at some point my dad was trying to sell me the story about coming here to the United States and how other swimmers from Colombia were able to get scholarships and everything and come here. And I always saw that as something unbelievable and something that's never going to happen to me. He's always, like, he always prays and like, he puts everything in God's hand. He's like, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what God does. So I got a phone call from a guy. He was like, would you like to go to the United States? Like I have a university, they're looking for a backstroker. And that was my main style. He was like, would you like to go? Would you like to start a whole process and everything? And I was like, well, and I told my dad and he told me, see, that definitely changed my life. Uh, that changed my relationship with my parents somehow. 
it's it's great what he can do when he just does it and his time it's no when you tell him like i want it now or i want it tomorrow give it to me tomorrow he's like just wait there like i'll give it to you but just be patient and thankful god brought me out of doubt and because of that i'm experiencing um, a better life i trust him 100 percent um, I know he does things in his, on his own time and I enjoy the little things in life.